Hello, and welcome to the OneWorld Accuracy System OASIS. We have created a set of videos which will guide you through the OASIS functionality. In this video, I will show you how to complete your registration for new eGrade programs that do not require assays to be registered. For assistance with registration for a program that uses assays, please see your video, Registration for Programs with Assays. Once you have logged into your OASIS account, Click on the Test Event Dashboard icon. Click on the red arrow for the program you wish to complete the registration for under either the Registration column or the Results column. The location of the arrow will depend on the time period you are logging in in relation to the test event. For new subscriptions that have no registration, the Registration tab will display in red. Analytes are displayed in the Analytes Requiring Action section. Select the analytes that are not being tested and click the Do Not Test Selected Analytes icon. Those analytes will be moved to a new section called Analytes Not Being Tested. Under the Analytes Requiring Action section, select the analytes being tested for the same instrument. Click the Choose Instrument for Selected Analytes icon. The Instrument Selection window that pops up has three sections. The first section is to register a new instrument. The second section contains the instrument currently registered for this subscription. And the third section is for all instruments previously registered. If the instrument that is used for the test has already been registered, click the Select button next to the instrument under Other Instruments. If the instrument has not yet been registered, select the manufacturer and the instrument model from the drop-down list. Both the nickname and the serial number are optional. Click the Add and Select icon. If the instrument manufacturer or model number does not appear in a list, select the manufacturer not listed or model not listed. Enter the manufacturer and the instrument model information. Do not forget to upload the instruction for use document. Click the submit icon to submit your request. You will receive an email once the missing instrument has been added to the database and you may resume registration. You may also retire instruments that are no longer being used in your lab. Note, you are not able to retire instruments assigned to a subscription. Click the Retired icon to remove it from the list. Once the instrument is added and selected, all selected analytes are assigned to the instrument. The next step is to register the reagents. Enter the unit, the reagent manufacturer, the reagent catalog number, and the reagent submethod. For standardization programs like GFRM733, you may need to enter the calibrator catalog number. If the reagent manufacturer or reagent catalog number doesn't appear in the list, select the manufacturer not listed or catalog number not listed option to send us a request. Provide the reagent manufacturer catalog number and again, do not forget to upload your instruction for use document. You will receive an email once a missing reagent has been added to the database, and you may resume registration. Choose reagent information for the first analyte. If other analytes can be tested with the same reagent and submethod, the system displays a window in which you can select the analytes from the list to register with the same information. You may select all or some of the analytes listed as those to be tested with the same reagent. Click on Submit. If the Analyze Requiring Action section is still in red, click on the down arrow to expand the list. Select the analytes in red and click on Choose Instrument for Selected Analytes and select an instrument. Otherwise, click on the Do Not Test Selected Analytes icon. If the registration is not complete, the Registration tab remains red. 
check the instruments and analyze to confirm all mandatory information has been added. Once the registration is complete for all analyzed and instruments, the registration tab turns blue. The registration is now complete. Click Exit. A message will appear. Read the message and respond to it. For additional assistance, we invite you to view our other support videos in our support center. Thank you for watching and we hope that you found this video helpful. We appreciate any feedback you may have on our videos. Please email us at support at oneworldaccuracy.com.